once took place, with the rock sometimes even scaled by ladders. In more peaceful times, there was a royal menagerie of peacocks, lions and monkeys. Lavish tented tournaments were held, with horses dressed as unicorns, animatronic beasts, <coughs> jousting, feasting, and the first fireworks ever recorded in Scotland. This account of a tournament tells of the wild knight and the black lady, of royal pavilions and a jewel-covered golden tree. In the town of Edinburgh, within the field of memory, which shall be between the castle of maidens and the secret pavilion, and within said field shall be the tree of hope, which grows in the garden of patience, carrying the leaves of pleasure, the flower of nobility, and the fruit of honour. With the union of the Scottish and English crowns in 1603, the regalia, or honours of Scotland, were placed in an oak chest in a strong room, where they lay untouched for over a century, only to be uncovered again by the romantic novelist and latter-day spin doctor, Sir Walter Scott.